even coming through. Okay. Yeah. Nice crack in that piston, huh? Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. How'd that happen, Nick? Well, Steve should be able to explain anything that why it's like him. Yeah, but you get paid the big bucks, that I thought. Not me. Not me. Not me. Okay. Come on. What are we looking at down here? I'm trying to get the snap ring at the bottom of the piston. No, oh, my. They don't give you no room in here. You'd think there'd be room. My arm, my hand's jammed up against the connecting rod. I can't twist it no which way. Hmm. I'll tell you what, I have the utmost confidence in you, buddy. Yeah, well, I don't give up. I know. But this, said, for some reason, the two holes on the snap ring, I'm looking at the one on the piston directly across from it. Uh -huh. And I almost got a hole, the whole hole sticking out from where it goes in the groove. Yeah. On this one, I can barely get the tip of this snap ring plier into the hole, into the one hole that I can see. Oh man, what an aggravation, and huh? I don't know why it's like that. Okay. Yep, I don't have any explanations for that. It should just go and fall right in. I mean, I'm looking at the ones right across from there, and they look like freaking <laughs> mm -hmm. big ass holes. This one's barely, like it's pushed back in the groove for some reason. Yeah, okay. Well, we thought we was gonna have to change the whole power pack assembly, no, but. No, that's what we just, we're gonna just do just, the rain, uh, but. Put the piston in, huh? Piston, I mean. Okay. 645 E3. Wonder how many hours, how many miles is on this baby? Since 1966, probably. <laughs> of course, who knows? Maybe uh, Southern Pacific did something to the engine. Who knows? Right. When they had it. Or maybe Boise. Who knows? Yep. It's been around all over the United States and Canada. CSX had it for a while. Canadian Pacific had it for a while. Okay. All Sorry right. about getting the light in your eyes, Nick. Yeah, that's okay. Alrighty. Crack piston. Well, that's railroading. <laughs> These guys will fix it. Okay, no piston down there. Let me get over there and show you that. Well, let me show you this here first. Here you go. Here's the new piston. Pretty neat, isn't it? I believe this is a measure. I'll have to check my book at home. I believe it's nine and sixteenths of an inch diameter. I have some of those old John Deere two-cylinder tractors at home. That's uh, they got some pretty big uh, coffee cans in them too. That thing's heavy. That thing is heavy. So this is something you don't get to see very often. How about that? Huh? Pretty neat. I believe this has a 10 inch stroke on it too. All right. Some more parts. It's nice and honed out. Got a little, got a red rag down there. It's, looks nice in there. Supposedly they're going to be back, mechanics are going to be back here today 
and keep working on it. I don't know if Nick got his, uh, his ring out or not, snap ring out or not up there. Yesterday I left right after I made that first part of that video, went home. So, and we got problems again this morning. That's the top of the uh, power pack assembly. Valves are okay. So, zoom in there a little bit. Ah, wrong way. There we go. Okay. Pretty neat stuff. Yeah, number 22 locomotive. Uh, we had had the radiator, yeah. Uh, replaced the radiator there the other day. And it ran really good for one day. It saved the day on that uh, derailment of number one. And uh, there's your injector. I got another injector, a brand new one. I'll, I'll have to show that to you. Okay. Yeah, so uh, number 22 shut down coming back last night. And it's sitting right out the garage here. They just got it started. Had to jump right off the, the dog when I was just coming into work. I wasn't dressed yet. Had still had my pajamas on. So by the time I got out here uh, to uh, get dressed and get out of here, the uh, they had the locomotive started up. So missed that one. But there'll be more. Okay. All right. They have gotten this. Uh, this is called a. Uh, power pack assembly okay and thankfully they didn't have to change that whole thing I would have had to lift it out of the engine for them with my boom truck had they done that things pretty heavy this is the uh, nice heavy metal blue case it came for came in uh, this actually you know these uh, old EMD engines the 645s uh, were often used in uh, boats river tugboats and uh, one of the guys that we have here used to work for uh, one of the boat companies and uh, pulled some strings and got this uh, this came from the boat company they had one laying around so it came showed up here the other day but again it's brand new or remanufactured whatever it is uh, power pack and they can change the whole thing if they need to but again Fortunately, it didn't have to. It's a lot bigger job than just putting a piston in. So, there's something else that uh, <laughs> nobody ever gets to see. <laughs> I bet I could show that to you. We've got part of one over in the little shop, but we don't have a complete assembly. That uh, doesn't have the piston in it. But, uh, there you go. Hey, all righty, we bring the railroad to you. <laughs> this is neat stuff. This is pretty neat stuff. Get to see this. Well, good morning. Different day told you I had another injector this is a brand new injector and I thought I'd show it to you this is the uh, box that they come in and that's what the injector looks like it's uh, 12 inches long this is your rack Quite, uh, so that's not something that uh, too many people get to see. This is the, uh, the uh, you, you noticed on those valves there was three uh, rockers. The center one drives this. The other two are, are bridged and they drive the four exhaust valves in there. Okay. And there's the business end. 
Now, what's very interesting, this is a brand new one. What's very interesting is when this uh, engine is uh, running at 900 RPMs, full throttle, then uh, this injector is firing at uh, right around 15 times per second. <laughs> Isn't that that incredible, huh? Yes, it is. Okay. Fuel in. All right, and something else showed up here since I made that last video. This is about a week uh, later since I made that the, the first part of that video. Um, so something else showed up here. Let me let me show you this. This is uh, our parts parts shop, and I'll give you a tour of this some other time. But uh, another power pack assembly showed up, and this one is upside down. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this down in there or not, but uh, the piston's down in there, and uh, of course this this is what uh, gets bolt, bolted to the to the crankshaft with the bearings in there. Okay, so there you have it. The other one I showed you was uh, right side up. You can see the uh, top part, but now you get to see the bottom part. What it looks like. And there's uh, two big uh, bolts up on top that uh, have like, I'm not sure, I know what they're called, they're like keepers that go around the, the bolt, goes down in the keeper, and that goes on top of the uh, power pack assembly. The bottom part of this is missing, as you can see. <coughs> but, yeah, it goes on top of the uh, that, which uh, holds that all down in place. So, all righty. <laughs> Pretty neat stuff, huh? I'm glad I could, uh, unless you're a locomotive mechanic, and not very many people get to see this kind of stuff here, so I'll, uh, glad I could show it to you. Okay. I wanted to say thank you very much for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. I really do appreciate it, your, uh, viewing. Have a really good day. Thanks again.